All right, so I don't know how many times I have uh, shot this and um, had issues nonstop, just one thing after another. But got to say positive, I guess. Um, how was your guys' New Year's? Are you, do you have any resolutions or anything? Um, you know... One of my resolutions of many uh, is to, when I watch a movie, to watch it till the end, no matter how bad it is. Um, this one definitely tested that. Um, first off, it is a War One movie. I am not a huge fan of war movies i tend to not go go towards watching them um but you know as you age over time uh your tastes change so maybe i'm thinking this is it uh this this is definitely a start for that and um The thing that drawed me to this movie, and it's pretty much, to be fair, the only thing that drawed me to this movie was that Ron Perlman was in it. Uh, if you don't know at this point who he is, he's the guy that did the original Hellboy. I mean, played him. Um, they didn't have a whole lot of him in here, I would say. Um probably because this is a to me this is more of a fan film with a high budget and you can see that through the fact that how it's what, what lenses they're using it's this kind of standard lenses shooting and the pan shots kind of seem i don't know just not what you would expect from a cinematic movie which this is this is not a cinematic movie i want to make that clear um and the shot, how they shoot the kill scenes, they didn't really, it's like they didn't try to hide it. That, because they just looked phony to me. Um, I mean, it wasn't laughable phony, but it just, just, you know, you could tell that they were, you know, not realistic. And um, the CGI in this is definitely what was my first clue in the beginning of uh it's kind of like a uh the how sci-fi shows are shot on like b-movies are shot um the balloons in the air were just kind of fake cgi looking um they definitely showed blood in here and it was um a little less believable it's, it sounds like i'm making this sound out like it's a horrible movie it's it's definitely a good movie for what it is. Um, could it be better? Yes. There's lots of issues with it, but I imagine they had a certain amount of budget for it. Um, it is in select theaters, I believe. Um, this came out in 2019, so it's, it's it's still new. I believe it's still in the theaters that it's selected in. Um, the acting actually was the one of the best parts of this. Um, it was pretty good. Uh, the racial intentions definitely were believable, at least in my opinion. Because um, there was definitely a lot of racial tension in here. And you would think there would be in World War One. Um, honestly, I don't know much about World War One. Um me because I just didn't really care enough about the trench wars. Um, so I also I honestly don't know how accurate this is. I, I, I from what I could get gather this is based on a true events of the tours at the end of the war. Um, trying to claim more land for the French, you know, and uh, overall the story, hands down, is the main best part. The number one thing about it that kept me going was the good story writing. 
Um, kept me intrigued. The character arcs, you know, weren't bad. Yeah, I mean, I, I enjoyed the movie. Um, I, I For that, I definitely would have to give this at least three out of five stars. And it's borderlining on a two and a half and a three. So it's like just barely on a three on the edge of it. Um, what, would I recommend it? Um, it depends. It depends if you're into fan films or just war one films. Um, other than that, if you're just looking for like a great movie or a good movie, um, probably not for you. Um, it was enjoyable. So if you're looking for enjoyable, um, you could try this out. Very interesting movie. It, it it was actually surprising that it was two hours long. Um, so they if they crammed a lot in here. Uh, oh, and I would also say that another good thing about this movie is the uniforms and the guns. Um, some of them you can kind of tell that they're uh, props. Like when I mean props, I mean like replicas and stuff instead of actual firearms or blank guns um but i could be wrong on that i'm sure there were definitely blank guns in here but you could tell when the cgi that of the smoke and stuff and fire from the barrel so um but anyways that that uh, i mean that's my review there's not much to say other than that um You know, um, if you haven't already, please like the video and please subscribe and hit that bell icon if you have not so you never miss a review of something you may or may not like a video or interested in. Um, yeah, uh, that is about it. Um, have a good day, everyone. Elmo out.